video we're going to look at how you can um, add um, concept schemes and um, top concepts and concepts to your thesaurus. In the language of pool party, a concept scheme would be a facet and a top concept would be a sub facet and then concepts are the equivalent of terms. So you can add um, concept schemes uh, in two ways you can either do it manually or you can import one that is already created. So we're going to do both. And first we're going to import one. So what we've got here is um, our the source is called Garden Plants, that's the project. And you right click on it and you do create, sorry, import concept scheme. So we're going to browse for where I've got this. And it's right here, it's called Regions. We're going to import Regions where you can grow plants. And now this is an RDF XML file, so we're going to need to change that and then click Import. And now you can see our concept scheme regions has been imported. It's got six top concepts, so those would be sub uh, facets, Africa, the Americas, etc. If you look over here, you can see how many terms were imported, how many broader narrower relations, how many um, concepts you've got there, um, and what you've got in your thesaurus. Now we're going to add our own manually. So we're going to go to Garden Plants and we're going to right click on the Garden Plants node and do Create Concept Scheme. And we're going to, this is the title of the project, so we're going to change that. We're going to call it Cultivation. And the subject is um, Conditions and Methods methods for growing plants. And the description is going to be, we'll just say growing plants, not growing plants for different regions and climate zones. And then we do create concept scheme. Okay, so here we have our top concept cultivation, but we don't have any, um, sorry, our concept scheme, but we don't have any top concepts underneath it. So uh, you can add top concepts in one of two ways. First, you can right click on the node and then you can just create top concept. And here we're going to create climate zones. And here you can see it's been created and um, these are the possibilities that we have for adding to it. So let's go ahead and add an alternative label. label. You just press this button and then we'll say um, Hard, hardiness zones. And then you click OK and you've added uh, an alternative label. You can also link it to broader concepts or add narrow concepts here or also link to related concepts. To link to related concepts it needs, uh, they need to be terms that are in your um, thesaurus project. Okay, so in our garden project we've got a concept scheme or facet which is um, cultivation and then we've got a sub facet or top concept which is climate zones and then we can start adding terms to this or concepts um, narrow concepts in two ways you can right click when you've got it highlighted and you can either do create narrow or concept here so it's one way or you can go down here and do add okay so let's add a narrower concept and we're gonna do Zone 1A. Okay, and you can see that Zone 1A has been added under Climate Zones and it shows up here as a broader concept. Now we can also um, add some notes about that. So for example, we can add a definition in this case, which is that Zone A is Zone A is minus is minus 60 to minus six, 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, which is pretty darn cold. So, and if we wanted to add a related concept, so remember that a related concept has to be 
um, in your thesaurus. So we could do something because we've got the regions here. So I think we could search for Alaska, say. And so we see Alaska comes up uh, as a suggested term. And remember, you always have to actually click on the term and not just hit return even though you've typed it in or it won't actually make the link. And so now we've got Alaska as a related concept. You can also add alternative labels and hidden labels. The difference between alternative labels and hidden labels is that hidden labels um, are not meant to be seen by the user when they're searching the source. They're just made um, to help in um, retrieval, but that the person doesn't actually see it. So probably something that you, uh, a type of term that you would not want to encourage the user to keep on using. So that's how you add uh, new facets or top, top concepts um, to your scheme, to your project. Yeah.